Welcome to Farmer Agriculture. Would you like it if fresh potatoes or other vegetables were available all year round? The world is shifting to growing our food with no soil techniques, not only to improve overall yield, but also to enhance the availability of foods. To maximize the benefits, farmers are utilizing several no-soil farming techniques and are growing tons of non-seasonal and seasonal vegetables and fruits. In this video, we will discuss some of the top food growing methods without soil. I will also explain how this is achieved with modern machinery and advanced techniques. So hit that like and subscribe button so you can stay updated with our latest videos. Let's begin hydroponic farming. This type of farming is done in large hydroponic systems that are developed in vast indoor facilities. But the adventure doesn't begin in the hydroponic system itself. Seeds are entrusted to germination chambers that keep temperature and humidity under control in these rooms and mimic ideal sprouting conditions. Alternatively, some factories might utilize seedling trays filled with a growing medium like rock wool or cocoa coir, which creates a familiar starting point for the young plants. Once the seedlings boast a few sets of true leaves, they're ready to enter the heart of the operation the hydroponic system. The facilities may use one of the two different types of hydroponic systems, nutrient film technique and deep water culture. In the nutrient film technique, seedlings are placed in small cups or baskets that cradle their stems and allow root access. These baskets are then strategically positioned within a long, shallow channel. A thin film of nutrient solution constantly flows through the channel, delivering vital nourishment directly to the roots. Meanwhile, pumps that are installed in this system tirelessly circulate the solution, ensuring consistent nutrient delivery throughout the system. Sensors monitor the solution's pH and nutrient levels, sending signals to automated dosing systems that precisely adjust the solution as needed. The deep water culture system is a little bit different. Seedlings are secured in containers filled with air pockets, allowing the roots to dangle freely in a deep reservoir of nutrient solution. Air pumps constantly bubble oxygen into the reservoir, ensuring proper root respiration. Similar to NFT, sensors and automated dosing systems maintain optimal nutrient balance. Instead of natural light, LED bulbs with specific strong wavelengths are used in these facilities. These light bulbs bathe the plants with those wavelengths that are essential for growth. Timers and control systems meticulously manage the light cycle, mimicking natural day and night patterns. The entire facility is designed with proper ventilation and temperature control systems to ensure the required temperature is kept inside the facility to boost the growth of the plants. Harvesting times come differently for different crops. Leafy greens might be ready within weeks while fruiting vegetables take longer. While most crops are still harvested manually, some crops have robotic arms equipped with sensors and cameras. These features enable the robotic arms to pick only the ripe veggies or fruits. In large-scale facilities, Washers and sorting machines sort the harvested crops while they move on a conveyor belt. And lastly, they are packaged and stored for transportation to the market. Aeroponics farming. Now let's move to a technique in which farming is done not in the water, but in midair, getting misted with nutrients. That's the magic of aeroponics. Just like hydroponics, aeroponics doesn't involve planting seeds directly into the main system. Seedlings are nurtured in the usual way. Seedling trays or germination chambers until they have a few sets of leaves and are strong enough for the aeroponic adventure. Once the seeds sprout, they are placed in special holders like net pots that cradle their stems and leave the roots dangling free. These holders are then positioned inside an aeroponic chamber, a big enclosed space full of mist that will become their new home. The key player in this system is a mist maker, sometimes called a fogger. This machine is like a tiny cloud factory, constantly creating a fine mist of nutrient solution. 
Tiny nozzles spray the mist directly onto the dangling roots, providing them with all the water and nutrients they need to thrive. Timers control the misting cycles, ensuring the roots get enough moisture without being waterlogged. The rest of this indoor facility is similar to hydroponic facilities with LED light bulbs, temperature controllers, ventilation, and other essential features. When it's harvest time, things can get manual again. Depending on the crop, farmers might use shears or knives to carefully pick ripe vegetables or fruits. For leafy greens, workers might simply harvest mature leaves, allowing the plant to keep growing. Which one do you think is a more effective farming method, hydroponic or aeroponic farming? Let us know in the comment section. Fog ponics for forage. Fog ponics takes the concept of aeroponics a step further, specifically designed to grow nutritious forage for hungry animals. Here's how this innovative method uses a misty environment to create a feast for livestock. Just like aeroponics and hydroponics farming methods, seeds are sown in separate places and are introduced into the fog ponics system once the seedlings sprout. The seedlings are moved into the fog ponic chamber where net pots hold their stems firmly, allowing the roots to hand in the air. After that, the fog generator, which is installed inside the chamber, creates a fog that is very different than the mist in the aeroponic chamber. It creates an even finer fog, almost like a cloud, that engulfs the entire chamber. This fog is a combination of water and all the essential nutrients seedlings require for growth. The fog is generated many times while ensuring that the chamber does not overflow with fog. The fogging cycles are monitored with timers. The beauty of fog ponics for forage is the possibility of continuous harvest. Forage crops like grasses and legumes tend to grow quickly. Once a section of the crop reaches maturity, farmers can harvest it using manual or semi-automated methods. Aquaponics like hydroponic farming, the aquaponic system also utilizes water as the medium for the growth of the crops. However, this system works in a completely different way and is more focused on sustainable techniques. The system starts with a fish tank teeming with healthy fish, like tilapia or koi. Their waste products, ammonia and nitrites, accumulate in the water. Because of these waste products in the tank, beneficial bacteria colonize the system specifically in the grow beds, which are media-filled containers where the plants reside. These bacteria act as decomposers, converting ammonia, which is toxic to fish, into nitrites and then nitrates. Nitrates are a welcome site for the plants. They absorb these nitrates as essential nutrients for healthy growth. The water, now cleansed by the plants, is then circulated back to the fish tank, completing one cycle. This process takes place over and over again, providing essential nutrients for the plants to grow until they are mature and ready to be harvested. The beauty of aquaponics is that it often allows for a selective harvest. Unlike some soil-based methods where you might have to pull up the entire plant, aquaponics lets you harvest what's ready while leaving the rest of the plant to continue growing. Vertical Fodder System this system is used to create fresh and high-quality fodder for animals. It helps create dense and nutrition-packed animal feed without costing as much as the fodder created with soil. Unlike the previous farming methods, we sow seed directly into the system. The system uses vertically stacked trays filled with a growing medium like cocoa coir or rock wool. These mediums provide support for the roots while remaining free of soil. Imagine them as tiny apartments for the seeds to sprout in. Advanced seeding machines, sometimes called seeders, come into play. These machines can precisely deposit tiny seeds onto the growing medium in each tray, ensuring consistent spacing and maximizing seed utilization. Think of them as tiny robots planting seeds with pinpoint accuracy. Once the seeds sprout and develop their first set of leaves, the real magic begins. A network of pipes and sprinklers delivers a precise amount of water and nutrient solution directly to the growing medium in each tray. Sensors monitor moisture levels and trigger watering cycles as needed, 
preventing overwatering or underwatering. Harvesting might involve automated cutters or simple manual processes. For leafy greens like forage, workers might simply trim the mature leaves, allowing the plant to continue growing on the bottom tray. This continuous growth ensures a steady supply of fresh fodder for the animals. The freshly harvested forage doesn't go straight to the animals. It's whisked away to dedicated processing areas where it might be chopped, sorted, and even conveyed to a mixing station. Let's wrap up the video here. What do you think about these systems that allow us to grow food without soil? Do you think this is the future of the farming? Let us know in the comment section. Hit the like and subscribe button to stay updated with our latest videos. See you in the next video.